we're going to take this first note of the arpeggio, this uh, third fret on the A string. Okay, so I just want you to play that note, press down the fret. Okay. So as you play that note, here's what needs to be going on in your mind. We need to essentially run through the whole body mentally and check for tension everywhere. So first, start at your, at your jaw, at your neck. Work down to your shoulders. Are your shoulders scrunched up like this? Or are they flat? Is one up higher than the other? Is it a T-shape? Are you tensing your bicep? Your forearm? Is your whole fretting hand relaxed? So these guys, can I move these around freely? Am I squeezing the back of the next? Am, am I clamping on like this? Or am I allowing the, the hand to be almost like dead weight and sort of pull down on the strings? Um, with my picking hand, am I gripping too tight? Am I gripping not hard enough so that the pick just falls out? Are you tense in your stomach? Are you sitting up straight or are you scrunched over? Are you tense in your thighs, your calves? Is your foot doing this? Is your feet doing this? Think of it as like a tension audit. Okay. There's also, uh, starting with the jaw is good, there's also another muscle that people don't even realize that they have. There's a muscle under your tongue that gets tense very easily and you're totally aware that it's tense. If you just check, concentrate on the muscle under your tongue, it's in the back, if you get that to relax, if, if you notice, if you try and relax it, and if you can relax it, that means it was tense. And if that's tense, there's a very high probability that you're tense other, other places, your jaw, your forehead, your shoulder, your bicep, whatever. Okay, cool. If you have a hard time falling asleep because you're tense, mm -hmm. that's the first muscle to relax, the muscle under your tongue. That's a right or downer for those of you who can't, for those of you who can't sleep. Cool. So before we finish here today, mm -hmm. What I want you to do is just, just very briefly just play this note again, and we just, just, just to try and go through that process, just so you've at least experienced it. Because okay, right now it's all very abstract. I'm like, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. And I know there's probably a high chance that you'll probably go, go away, as I probably would have done in your situation. And you'll be like, oh, okay, I'll try and relax. And you'll go, do that again and the tension will still be there. So let's just try and play that one note, and just work through a whole body, and just try and relax everything. Okay? So by the time I got down to my hand, my uh, neck, shoulder had got tense again. So go back to the shoulder and relax. My stomach's probably pretty tense. It's quite hard to do this. Uh huh. So, in your fretting hand, why are we gripping those strings? Thinking about relaxing my shoulder. <laughs> and, and even, even <laughs> if she isn't gripping them, even if they're just simply laying there. They're completely out of position. E even if they're laying there and relaxed, they're out of position anyway to be useful. So we'll have to now reapply tension to get them out of the way so that they can be used for the next note. So we want them to be, to be relaxed, but if they're here and relaxed, then we've got to now, for, we've got to send a signal from the brain to the fingers to go up and then over and then so that you can use them. Okay. You don't have to necessarily play that. Well, I can't do it that hand. You can't necessarily do it. You don't have to necessarily prepare like this, but you can just relax. So now all you have to do to get the next note is open the hand. See, I'm just opening the hand, and then it spreads out. You understand what I'm saying? But open the hand. See, I'm relaxed now. If I just open my hand, and it's here. Okay. You know, if you lay it down, now we've got to make a whole new set of movements to put them back in position and then articulate a note. Then we just, we're just creating more work for ourselves in that case. Okay? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so d does that process make sense? It does. As to how you can go about, you mean th this can work with any exercise, any chord, note, scale, arpeggio, whatever. But the key here is to stay on that note as long as you need to. So it takes you, you know, three minutes just to fully relax your body on that one note. Then let it take three minutes. It takes I'm ten a minutes. I'm stress puppy, so it might take me a while. <laughs> yeah, but if it takes ten minutes, then it takes ten minutes. If you can do it in a few seconds, you can do it in a few seconds. Although I very much doubt that will happen right now. So it'll probably take closer to you know, quite a few seconds, if not a minute. But what you're going to have when you can do this is when your whole body is relaxed, you're going to be able to play guitar so easily and so effortlessly that you know, arpeggios like this are just going to feel so easy. They almost be like doing it in your sleep. Okay, you, better, you just pick up the guitar, play it perfectly every single time. You know, every single note will be clean, providing we focus on the correct rolling technique. And yeah, you know, it's, it's just going to make your whole guitar playing so much easier. You never feel tense again once you implement this, and your guitar progress will skyrocket out. That'll be very nice. <laughs>